Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. So my name is Bailey Sarian. I'm here for you. If you like makeup and you like true crime and stuff, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm here for you every Saturday and Monday. And today I thought I would try something a little different. Derma Blend sent me this product. It's the Leg and Body Makeup. It's Buildable Liquid Body Foundation. It has SPF 25 in it. They sent me two colors, Tan Honey and Medium Bronze. I'm kind of hoping it matches. Let me tell you what this is supposed to do. Leg and body makeup provides buildable coverage for moderate to major concerns. Camouflages varicose veins and other visible veins, tattoos, stretch marks, scars, age spots, birthmarks and bruises. I thought it would be fun if I try to cover a tattoo with this product. You see, this is like all the rage, you know? I've always seen their ads and stuff about covering tattoos. So I thought, let's try it on my legs or one leg. Let's try it on one leg and see how that goes. I was watching a couple of tutorials on it and it looks like um, it does it in like one swipe, whatever. If you're a makeup artist, you know that tattoo coverage is work. Like it's not easy. And if you are looking to get tattooed, just know don't get tattooed in hopes that you can like cover it easily. Cause it's not that easy. It takes a lot of goddamn work. Normally you have to color correct. I've done a tattoo coverage video and I will link it up here or like down below as well. If you want to see how to cover a tattoo with color correction, but for the most part, let's see what this is all about. And I wanted to do my legs only because I got a really bad sunburn. <laughs> we went to the beach yesterday and we were only outside for three hours hours and I applied SPF twice in the in those three hours and I still got burnt. I'm like a flipping lobster right now. I'm in pain. So I have a big old peacock that I'm gonna put it over and let's see how it goes. I'm very excited about this. I'm holding the microphone so look yeah that's me. I don't know where to put it because I moved my table. My life is just so rough. Anyways, I know you guys have been asking like so many of you guys have been asking to see my tattoos. Well here they are. Say hello to my peacock. And my snake, thank you so much. I'm wearing socks because last time, like on my Instagram, one time I showed my feet and like my nail polish was chipped and people came after me and I'm sick of pe I'm sick of the internet, okay? So I, put, I just covered my toes instead because my nail polish is chipped. Bunch of haters out here. Anyways, okay. So I'm going to be applying the product with this Artiste palm brush, okay? I'm gonna apply all over. And then I'm gonna come back and add another layer. So I'm gonna use this one. And this is the medium bronze 45 neutral. And I'm going to just like apply it onto my brush. If you have like varicose veins or bruising, or if you just want like that pantyhose effect without the pantyhose, this could be a really nice option. I'm not against this, but to make bold claims like it covers tattoos, I'm a little skeptical, I won't lie. Okay, this doesn't match, but we're just gonna keep going because I don't have another color. I did shave my legs and I did put on lotion like a couple, like an hour ago. I would say get rid of the hair just because there's gonna, that will add texture, you know? Oh my God, I'm orange. Okay, whoopsie. I'm not trying to be problematic, I swear. Should I do it again with the brush? Okay, I'm going in for a little bit more. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, this is lovely. My skin looks flawless. Apply in a dabbing motion because that's how you're gonna get like the most color payoff. You're just dabbing it. And this tattoo is really dark. So like, I'm not even trying to act like this is gonna be easy to cover. Oh, we're gonna use this whole jug, aren't we? All right, here goes this. I guess while I'm here, I could talk about this tattoo. So I got this tattoo, let's see, I had to be like 21, 22. I love it, the peacock is so pretty. There's no reason I like behind it, there's no story, there's nothing. It's just the artist that did it, I really liked his work and I just wanted a tattoo by him. And I knew I wanted a peacock because I just think they're gorgeous. I went to this artist, gave him my deposit, whatever, and then I got it done. And that's my story. Sometimes you don't really need a story to get a tattoo. You know, some of us are just art collectors. I think it took two sessions, I think like four to six hours each time. First time I went, it was the outline. Second time I went, it was the color. I should have let it dry before I went in again. But hey, I must say it's covering pretty well. Wow, my orange leg looks flawless. Hey man, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, yeah, it's not the right color. 
it looks like shit on my foot, but it looks great on my legs. Like on my foot, it looks like there's a lot of texture. Cause it's like, it's thinner skin. On my leg, it's not as thin. Like it looks really gross on my foot. Looks like I have model legs. Wow. I'm going to add the Derma Blend powder. This is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in Translucent Correct. Yeah, just the original. I'm gonna sandwich. So I'm gonna put a light layer of this down and then I'm gonna put another layer of foundation on top. So this will set the foundation. That way we can build on top of it easily instead of it just kind of like mushing all together. I mean, you could just like leave it like this. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not completely covered, but it's nice. Like I look flawless and <laughs> ombre. I love that. But I just want to see if I could cover completely. So I'm coming back in with my sponge and dabbing on top of that. I am really impressed. Okay, I was coming in here like there's no way this is gonna work. Okay, first of all, my leg looks like an Oompa Loompa mannequin leg. Yes, if the color matched, it would be definitely better, but uh, I'm impressed. I'm like really, really impressed. And it doesn't look cakey at all. It looks like I'm wearing pantyhose. I hate that word, it grosses me out. Wow. So it says to make this transfer resistant, you have to use like their setting powder. So I'm gonna put this on. So just kind of like press and roll, bitch. Press and roll. Yeah, it says this powder is what is like the key to making it transfer proof and like water resistant. I'm about to go out walk my neighborhood, show off my new leg. I need a powder puff, damn it. Where's my powder puff? Okay, I found my powder puff. Oops, oh my God, Bailey, really, really? It was workout, I'm sweating. Powder puff is so much better to set the larger areas because the brush really wasn't setting it and it was still wet. Okay, now it looks like makeup. Oh, damn it. It looks so pretty until I use that powder. But if that's what's gonna seal the deal, then I just have to stick with that, right? Should I add another layer? I'm doing it. It looks so fake and I love it. Honestly though, like if you have just not, I don't wanna say not the best looking legs cause that sounds so mean, but like if you're insecure about veins or I don't know, discoloration, if you have a small tattoo, I feel like, yeah, this would be amazing cause it'll just smooth out the leg and make it look gorgeous. If you have a big ass tattoo like me, it's like, yeah, it's gonna take a lot more work and it's, go it's going to look like makeup, you know? Like you can't have this high standard with it looking super natural. Like that looks amazing. I don't even wanna powder it, but you have to. Okay, again, once again, ignoring the color, but wow. Okay, now it says it's transfer proof, so let's grab something and rub it on there and see what happens. I grab this cloth, okay? Now let's say I just like brush on somebody, like, oh my God, I just ran into you. We got a little something, but not too much. Let's just go for it and see what happens. What happened? Did I not use enough powder? Okay, so don't wear this and sit on like white couches and stuff. What do they mean it's not transfer proof? This is, what? Liars. Where are the directions? Oh, it says after makeup is dried, apply a generous amount of setting powder. Let powder set for two to five minutes, then brush off excess powder with a brush. My bad, okay, let me not be such an ass and like wait for it to dry more. So you're supposed to let it bake. Okay, so I'm gonna apply it on like we do our under eyes. So just let this sit for two to five minutes. Let's do five minutes since I did the most. Oh, this is gonna be a pain to get off, isn't it? Five minutes, start. And once this is done baking and setting, I'll come back, dust it off, and we'll try the white cloth again to give it a fair shot. Yeah, but it's been well over five minutes. I've just been responding to comments and stuff on my Instagram. Love you guys, oh my God. So let's dust this off. Wow, I'm still like impressed. This is the clean side now. Let's do like a soft little rub, like someone just brushed on me. Did it, oh yeah, it transferred. Oh, bummer. I was really rooting for you. I'm not, I'm just like, I have some pressure, but I'm not like scraping. I don't want anyone to think of being a little bitch. Yeah, it's transferring. Okay, so I don't know. I mean, it's not as bad as this side. Okay, so just don't sit on white stuff. Overall, wow. I'm really, 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 really impressed. 
There's a lot of texture on my feet happening, but just wear shoes that cover it. Hey man, that looks pretty good. Wow, one leg tan, the other not. Even. Okay, so that didn't even take me that long to do, but then again, I didn't really blend it that well. I'm just sitting on the floor versus trying to like readjust my camera. Here's my beautiful orange leg. I love it. Oh my God. Okay, so let me know what you think down below. This was not sponsored by Dermablend, but they did send me those products. Shout out to Dermablend for sending them my way. Would I wear this? I don't know. Like if I had a matching color, I don't know because I've never been asked to like cover my tattoos or anything. Damn. Okay, that looks great. How does this look on your face? I look like a bloated sea creature. Let me know what you think down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I think this would be great for somebody with, who just wants that flawless leg as far as it being transfer resistant. Mm, I don't know, but I did put a lot on. So I would say like, if you're wearing makeup on your legs, just like on your face, it is probably gonna transfer a little bit and there's really not much you could do about it. This has been an interesting experience. Now I'm gonna try and get this off. Hi, for my phone. That was kind of a pain to get off, but that's kind of a good thing. That's not necessarily a bad thing. That means it's not gonna come off easily when you're wearing it. My legs are burning because I was like scraping so hard. I'm sweating. So that's the end of the video, I think. I hope you have a wonderful day today. You make good choices. Let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like take a lap around the house. I don't know. I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye.